performing the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are taking a look at Creature Lab. Now, I was looking through all the demos on NextFest, and this one particularly caught my eye because it is essentially Mad Scientist Simulator. You know, it's the kind of game that makes you want to go... <laughs> and yeah, it just looks so much fun. I cannot wait to give this a go. I have actually gone through some of the tutorial just to make sure everything kind of worked and get my settings and everything right, but... Yeah, I was going to explain more about the game, but the tutorial will actually, well, basically explain the entire plot of the thing. So, that being said, let's have some fun and go unleash our inner mad scientist. Welcome to Creature Lab. This tutorial will help you create incredible elixirs and magnificent monsters. Press the left mouse button to continue. Yes, please. Oops, I missed one. <laughs> this is the storage room. Any ingredients or bodies you acquire will be placed here. Here's your laboratory. Use the Alembic to mix two mixtures together and make something new. Analyze their properties by using their microscope. Grow new body parts by using an incubator. You have to walk downstairs to perform more radical experiments. This operating room has the equipment to make new creatures, enhance their abilities, and even change their limbs. Once you're satisfied with your creation, you can place any mutant in these stasis chambers. This allows you to use them on various missions. The office is mostly a front to nosy government spies, but one desk is special. It has a hidden monitor where you can plan your missions and send your monsters to gather essential ingredients. So yeah, basically we're making monsters and sending them out into the world to get us more ingredients to make even more monsters. To start the experiment, go to your storage room to get the ingredient you need. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take a look around here really quick. The uh, operating theater, pretty bloody gross. What's in here? Oh, okay, yeah, once you make the monsters, I believe you put them in here in the stasis chamber, but anyway. Okay, let's go up to the storage room. That's probably in here. Oops, open the door. Oh, no, this is the storage room. Okay, this is my creepy... Yeah, this is my creepy scientist lab. Okay. It wants me to take the Astrolic, which I'm guessing all of these are made up. Now pour this ingredient into the Alembic, happily. The Alembic should be in here somewhere, yes? Yes, it is. Oh, chemistry. Find another ingredient to make the elixir. Oops, put that down. So yeah, basically we're just taking kind of random crap and putting it together and seeing what it does, which is the kind of science I like. Can I take a different random ingredient? Are there? Is there any other random ingredients? I got some colored stuff, but it's not letting me play with that. So, I guess we're just going to do what it wants me to do. In my brain, that said blue tit. I don't know what it actually said. I'm pretty sure it's not a blue tit, but... Oh. Oh, that's right. This one's got to go in here. Place an empty flask under the Alembic, and then turn it on to mix the ingredients. Put you down. Come on, baby, light my fire. Let the science begin. Okay, find a syringe and take a sample of the mixture, with pleasure. Oops, there we go. Unknown number one. Place the sample under the microscope and begin examining it. Yes, please. Now, this is the part of this that I didn't quite understand. So use the scrollers to analyze the sample bar on the left will help you see your progress. This part's actually pretty easy. You just gotta adjust the sharpness. Um, you will see like your progress bar gets fuller. So you basically move that as far as that can go, and then turn your zoom to fill in the rest of it. Okay, we have successfully analyzed it. Low complexity, high reactivity, uh, possible molecule. See, this, I don't know what this means. It's Tuckleodor Sazioli. Okay, well, I'm assuming you can figure out all the different molecules and put your different chemicals together based on which molecules you want your monster to have the mutations from. Anyway, you've just created an elixir. Elixirs are created by combining several ingredients that are used to create mutagens. Take your elixir and create the mutagen by mixing it with elixir from the storage room. Okay, so now this one 
has to go in here. I can put that back under there. And now I gotta find the weird glowy stuff in the storage room. Which, I love the fact that they always have a little, like, glowy thing around them so you can actually see what's what. Oh, I really hope there's a lot to this demo. Even if there isn't. Even if I only get to do just the one thing. Uh, this is definitely a game I actually want really badly. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put the, uh... Sorry. I forgot to put you under the thing. There we go. Okay, fire it up. Yeah, this is the kind of game I can see myself playing for hours on end. And probably ruining my productivity on YouTube. Place a sample under the microscope and begin the mutagen research. I can do that. I think I can do that. I'm going to do my best. Okay, glowy stuff. What do you got? Put you down. Fire up the microscope. Oops, that actually was pretty close to accurate anyway. Sorry about the thumping noise in the background. The, uh... There's a lot of snow on my roof. We actually had a really huge snowstorm yesterday, and it's basically really nice today. In fact, it's above freezing today, go figure. It was 6 degrees when I got up this morning. It's 34 right now. Um, yeah, and basically the snow is melting and falling off the uh, falling off the roof. There we go. Okay, properties. High complexity, high reactivity. It's a mutagen, and we've got all kinds of possible molecules. So it's kind of says the cave basil. What the hell's cave basil? I don't know. Who cares? Take a mutagen, pour it into the body chamber to start creating your first mutant. I can do that too. That I believe we have to take into. No, not downstairs yet. We got to do it up here, I think. Is it up here? No, maybe it is downstairs. Oh, it is downstairs. Okay. This is where it starts getting good. We open the cover. We pour the mutagen in. Pour the stuff in. Take the test subject out of the mortuary box. Yeah. <laughs> Put you down. Okay, if you're a little bit squeamish, you might not enjoy this part as much, but I'm not squeamish. I don't care. And I love the music for this. The music is absolutely spot on perfect for this game. Okay, take the young lady's corpse, put the test subject in the body chamber. Miss, I am sorry. This is an all for science. Okay, use the panel on the body chamber to start the mutation process. This is one of the things I was actually glad I uh, did a little bit of practice on this because it took me quite a while to figure out that I had to open panel of body chamber to do this part. Okay, mutagens in chamber two, fill it with mutagen. Mutation complete. Open the chamber now and don't forget to sedate the beast. Now, I'm kind of... Oh, it's not going to let me wake the creature without sedating it first. I was kind of curious what would happen if we tried to wake it up when it wasn't sedated. Sedate the creature. Oh, I don't want to wake the creature. I want to go back. Yes, please. I want to open the... Uh, whoops. I want to open the cover. Take the mutant and put it in the grapple happily. You are not quite as cute as you were when it... Well, I say cute in the loosest possible sense of the word, but you know what I mean. Okay, find the panel that controls the grapple and extract the mutant's DNA. Yeah, darling, welcome back to life. Turn on the computer. Now, I can apparently do this here, too. Choose an organ for the injection, lung, stomach, liver... Okay! Can I do that in the demo? Is it going to allow it? Probably not. Okay, well, we'll take the DNA sample. And we will go back. Use the laptop connected to the incubator to start incubating the new limb. Okay. That should be in here. I've really got to learn my way around my own lab a little bit better. Okay, select the limb to be incubated. Use the buttons on the top to select left to right limb. The number of potions on the left side shows how many doses of the mutagen you need to incubate the selected limb. Okay. So if I go do the left limb, I have to have one. 
And to do that, I need to... Can I just open this? Yep, take off the plug cover. I need to put you... In here. I can put you back down. I guess I don't have to close the plug cover. Yeah, let's try the left limb first. Start the process. That is really gross. Create a second limb in the incubator. Okay, can I do that with the first one still in there? I don't know. Let's find out. And I'm happy to try. That's half the point of science, is to try new things and see what happens. Now we have to do the right one. Okay, yeah, it's probably not going to let me do it because there's an arm in there. Alright, well, we'll put the arm over here somewhere. Get it out of the way. Now can I do it? I need the right limb, thanks. There we go. Okay, that's the right limb done. Place the mutant on the operating table to begin the transplant process. Happily. So, Jenny, darling, let's go have a chat about your arms, basically. The operating table, use the laptop and replace the mutant's limbs with those from the incubator. Can do. Use the appropriate buttons to detach the selected limb, then remove it from the table and replace it with a limb from the incubator. Finally, attach the new limb to create the powerful mutant. Well, let's get this thing off. Do I have to start the process? I don't think that did anything, because I didn't actually tell it to do anything. I have to actually do the... Uh... Oh, I have to remove. I tried to attach first. Can I do both? I can. Okay. Bye, limbs. Replace the mutant's limbs. Happily. Take the left arm. Can I actually throw things? No, I can't. Uh, where can I put these down? That'll do. No offense there, Jenny, but I don't need your old arms. I need your new arms. Sorry, I had a little bit of a coffin fit. Okay, you're the left arm. Which is your left, yes? Yep, that looks right. Well, you know, right and left. You know what I mean. Okay, other arm, please. I'll take the right one. This honestly looks a lot like your old arm. I mean, I don't see much difference. Set that one down. And then we do a little bit of science. And make you look exactly like you did five seconds ago. Alright, put the mutant in the stasis chamber. Okie dokie. Yeah, your arms don't look any different to me at all. Oh, can I shortcut through here as well? I can. Oh. Open the panel. Put in the stasis chamber. Close the panel. Great job. Before you make a second mutant, it's time to learn how potion brewing works. Um, she just stood up on her own. I had nothing to do with that. Okay, potion brewing works. Go to the laboratory and analyze an ingredient there. Yes, I will happily. Oh, okay, she's just floating around in the goo. So, this is officially where I have not played anything, so I don't know what the hell's going to happen next. Let's go find out. Okay, analyze an ingredient in the lab. How does one do this? Okay, did they tell me to get something from storage? I am officially lost here. I have no idea what was going on. Okay, it just says analyze an ingredient. Does that mean I have to do the microscope thing again? See, and I will do that. I'm happy with it. I just want to put it a little closer to the edge of the table. My friendly neighborhood syringe. Okay, so I just do that. No, well, easy enough to do. If I'm doing the wrong thing, it'll let me know, I'm sure. Okay, each substance has different molecules. Ah, it's explaining the molecule thing, which determines its properties. This is an ingredient, so it only has a single molecule. You don't know which one. It could be any of the ones listed in the properties window. Okay. 
Now what? Analyze the next ingredient now. Oh. Okay. I must have to... They must be like the same thing. Are you the same thing? Gawk us up. Near bug... Alright, they're not the same thing. Alright, we must be trying to like eliminate stuff just to figure out what does what. That's as good as that one gets. I'm guessing the rest of it's right there. Okay. This is also an ingredient. Notice the thing symbol listed as one of the possible molecules. Looks like the opposite of the doodah symbol you saw in the last ingredient. At the moment, it's unclear if the doodah thing... Sorry, I had to cough. It's unclear if the doodah symbol is really present in the ingredient. To find out, mix the two ingredients in the... In the what? Was I supposed to scroll down? Alright, well, I gotta mix two ingredients. That's easy enough to do. Now, mix the previously researched substances. I'm gonna guess to do that... I have to put them in here? I hope this is right. I'm gonna pop you in there. Put you down. Now, do I have a flask? Are you a flask? You look like a flask. I can't pick you up. Why can't I not pick you up? Where's the one I had that I was using? Are you the one I was using? No. I have a feeling I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, well, you won't give me the empty flask. I would love to have an empty flask. Can I use this instead? Does it work? It works! Okay, that was all there was to it. It's going to be extremely green, whatever it is. It's a sludge. Don't worry, this is good news. It means the two ingredients are each other's opposites. By this deduction, you can simply assume that they contain doodah 1 and doodah 2, respectively. If the ingredients had two different molecules, they would mix... And... Oh, forgot to, Okay, it is a scrolly. You can find more ingredients in the storage room. Mix them together until you produce a mutagen. Mutagens require at least four molecules, and one of the four molecules must be an activator. Can you figure out which symbol is the activator? Experiment until you create a mutagen. If you need a hint, check the whiteboard in the office. Well, we've got the sludge. Do I just put the sludge down? Am I meant to analyze the sludge? You know what? We're going to analyze the sludge anyway, just in case. Because it's not going to hurt. It might help. I'm quite curious anyway about what it might be. Oh, that was almost perfect right off the bat. Okay, so this has got to be this one for the rest of it. There we go. Okay, it doesn't have anything to it at all. So, this is basically garbage. That's fine. I'm going to actually put this out of the way over here somewhere. You can go by the other microscope. Well, let's find some... Ooh, okay, we got all kinds of random crap to play with. Hmm. Choices, choices. What do we want to do? Let's try mixing some pink stuff. Actually, let's try analyzing some pink stuff. No. Hold up. I want you on the corner of the table. Thank you. But you know what? I'm going to get all of this crap out here. I will be right back. I'm not going to make you watch me hump, like, jars around all day. <laughs> okay, we had, for some reason, two jars of the emoli stuff. So I'm going to guess maybe that's one of the ones I'm meant to do in particular. Now we're just going to analyze all of it and see if we can figure out how this chemistry stuff works. So, first things first, let's see what we got. Oops, we have got what looks to be hopefully a very simple thing, please. Please be simple. Okay, we've got a paw print, a target, and a gray, like a hand mirror. Okay. So if that's what you've got in you, let's try and find something that has a similar or the opposite thingy to that. I'm going to probably wish I was taking notes. Alright, I can't go any higher than that, so... Okay, that one has none of the other three. Okay, so this one we got a bomb, we got a skull, and a piece of, like... Werther's original. Okay. 
Oh, where's my handy dandy syringe? Thank you. Uh, well, we did bring the purple thing out first, so let's try the purple and see what's in the purple. Yeah, I'm gonna really wish I'd been taking notes. Oh, oh god, we're almost there. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Here we go. Okay, this one has the target and the paw print. So, if I'm doing this right... I really, really wish I'd remembered to scroll that down so I could see the second half of the... If they were the uh, opposite, they would, yada yada. Alright, well, we got a target and a paw print in that. We got a target and a paw print in the other thing. So, let's mix you... And now it's gone. With you... Did I just see another syringe on the floor? Pop you down. There you go. I did see a syringe. Good God. I've seen public bathrooms cleaner than my freaking laboratory. Okay, we don't need to take unknown number three. We need to analyze unknown number three. And I'm a little bit worried that it's not sludge, but I just need it to be a mutagen. So turn that on. How did we do on our first ever attempt at making a mutagen? We came actually very close to getting the thing right. Okay. That's two, those two, those two. It's definitely not a mutagen. Okay, never mind. Well, let's go back to analyzing the blue stuff. And see if we can figure this one out. I'm starting to think I needed to find two things that were the opposite of each other. Okay, so that's got like a black Werther's original. The other one had a different colored Werther's original, yes? That one also has the bomb and the white and black paw print. <laughs> okay, no, we got a different glowy thing. Okay, well, unknown number four. What do you have in you? Had it. Lost it. There we go. Okay, that has everything in it. How are that and that not opposites? Low complexity, low reactivity. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to mix and match the two glowy thingies. Just out of curiosity, because I want to see what will happen. And then, if this fails, which I suspect it is definitively going to fail, I'm actually going to go hit the main menu. I will replay... The original bit really quick and we'll get back to where the chemistry started and actually read what the thing had to say to me and try not to screw it up and not scroll through it okay we did it excellent now use what you learned to create a second mutant if you want you can replace the mutants limbs with new ones from the incubator okay so basically what we had to do was make glowy things which oh, where the hell did my syringe go now let's see if this mutagen looks any different from the original one yeah, like I actually remember what the original ones was. I mean, it's got to be a little bit different. It's pink. Oh, there we go. Oh, right about there. And there, okay. High complexity, high reactivity. It's got all kinds of crap in it that I don't know what it is, but... I am perfectly happy to make a mutant out of it. If I can remember how to make a mutant, I should be able to. Can I do it in here? I'm kind of curious about that. How, where does one pour it into here? Oh, you know what? Let me just park this on the table over here for a second. Okay, glowy stuff. Don't go away. I gotta go get a dead person. I wonder how many different uh, dead body things there are in this game. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one's empty. Am I out of bodies? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Anybody in this side? Okay, let's see what we got. We've got... Dude in a suit. Yuppie corpse. <laughs> okay. We got a yuppie's corpse. 
I think there was nobody in these ones, right? Getting a bit dark in this side of things here. Um, and then we got... Okay, dude really has a thing for uh, teenage girls. That's just I corpse. Okay. No, nope. you know what? You can go back in there. You can go back in there. I want to mutate a yuppie, goddammit. Alright, come here, yuppie. Can I put you in here? No, I cannot. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it this way. You can go in there. Where'd my goo go? I need my glowy stuff. Alright, put the glowy stuff in there. Perfect. Now. Close the cover. Can I? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, open the panel. Now. Trying to remember how to do this. Fill this with mutagen. And begin. I'm glad it was successful. Okay. Why can't I go back? Oh, I gotta sedate him. I forgot. Yeah, probably best I do that. Put the mutant in the stasis chamber. I'm going. Hold on. I wanna see what's going on with him. Where the hell is he? What do you look like, my dude? I wanna put you on the grapple. I wanna see what you look Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. He looks like a Borg. Now, how would you like the arms from the other thing? Can I do that? Actually, let's get his DNA sample. Um, don't be kicking around like that. You're supposed to be sedated. I gotta analyze your DNA, buddy. I wanna know what's going on with you. Alright, DNA fully synced and done. So if I want to... You're not gonna give me extra bottles of unknown number four. No, you know what? I can make the original weird arms, because we got unknown number two. Let's give him one arm, just to be different. Close that. Okay, we're gonna give you, I believe it was the left one that was on the first side. Okay, I can't do that. Let's do that, we'll make the mutant arm. Pop that off, we'll take this downstairs. Give you a new arm. Hopefully you won't mind. Uh, alright, I'll put this one over on this side so I don't lose track of where all my, um, different bits and bobs are. Hello, Fred. Down you go. Uh, I believe that was the left arm. That was this side. Okay, remove that one. I love that he's still wearing parts of his suit. Okay, I definitely need some kind of arm disposal unit here. And let's reattach it. Make you all cool. Incompatible DNA. Crap. Alright, never mind. I wonder if it's going to do it anyway. That would be a no. Alright, we have an extra arm then. Well, I don't want you going through life with no arms, so I'm just going to reattach this one. And then we'll chuck you in the stasis chamber and then see what happens. Alright, come here. In you go, Fred. Oops, put on the stasis chamber. Close the panel. Open the secret desk to reveal a hidden game map and use it to plan your first invasion. Absolutely. With pleasure. This is my secret desk. Unfold the secret computer. Um, why is it facing the wrong way? It seems logical it should be pointing, you know, flip around so I'm looking at it if I'm sitting at my desk. Yeah, well, game got a game. I'm not going to argue with it. Okay, to start a mission, select the district and press the mission button. Choose a mission type from the drop-down bar at the top. Finally, click the start mission button and enjoy the results. Now, we have a thing that says investigation and panic. Okay, I guess we're doing Sleepy Hill. Okay, population is plentiful. 
Oh, the resources are plentiful. Okay, so, mission. Alright, they have some army units. Alright, Sleepy Hill is the mission. Degree of danger. 78% detection. Well, you know what? Choose a mission. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do we want new bodies? We don't want to fight the military. I think we want to acquire more ingredients to play with. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go acquire new bodies to hell with it. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Don't eat him, darling. I need him back at the lab. Alright, well, there you go. That was Creature Lab. And this is a game I absolutely cannot wait for the full uh, version of. Because this is exactly the kind of thing I really love. But, yeah. As always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, demo of Creature Lab. And hope to see you for the next one.